Hi, Sam Tolbert from Sound of Joy Music Services, and this is our Skype lesson for February 27th, 2016. All right, we began our lesson first of all with scales, which is a, a must when I give this course so that you can get your fingers limp enough before we practice. We started in the C major scale first, and then back. D flat, or E or C sharp, D, nice and even, E flat, again this just loosens up your hand, E, F, F sharp, G flat, G, A flat, ah, stop looking at it, there we go, A major, B flat, B major, all right, that's the warm-up for your right hand, the left hand will just do just the, from C to C scales, and start at the lower C, below C, below middle C, here we go, D, E, F, G, A, B, and back to C. All right, just basic warm up, not the full warm up as we did with the right hand. And then our chromatic walk up, just to build syncopation in both hands. right there three four five and then back down rapid pace hold hold and then back up rapid pace the idea is to get them both working together that builds the syncopation between both hands Okay, we started the lesson for you for Do Not Pass Me By in the key of C. We're going to just summarize what we covered in our Skype lesson. It's in the key of G. And again, we, we've gone over the G major scale, so we know where the notes are. Because it's a very high song, your soprano notes we gave you first. Which starts at that D. That's the opening melody that we gave you to practice. We added these, the alto part. Two, three. Two, three. We gave the tenor part to G. Three part, three part harmony. We covered it from the lesson. You see the notes posted there to give you a, a, a refresher. Now we added the bass first. F sharp, B, E, D, G, B, E, one, two, three. 
three and A B C D G. Now I'm gonna slow it down again. This is just a summary of what we covered. give you some of the um, the bigger chords that you're going to learn on our next lesson. Now here's the full chord we're going to learn on the next lesson. Now this is just sort of like a, well okay, we're not going to start from low as G, but from the right hand, it's like a G9 because we're giving the ninth note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the ninth note right there, that's what makes it a nine, but it fills the chord up. Savior. You're going to learn this chord, which is a, a transition chord. Savior, do not pass me by. You're going to learn this next week. Look at my finger placement. Savior, do not pass me by. Now some call that a triad, tritone chord. Savior. See how the left hand has its own set of chords? Savior. That's why that syncopation is so important, which we which we, we did cover this. So both hands can can think independent of, of each other. chords for that next part of it. We also covered um, okay, the actual rhythmic timing for this type of song, doing it kind of fast because it is a summary, but this song has a very quick tempo to it. getting comfortable doing bass again when, when you practice scales playing bass on your left hand becomes so much easier just gotta know where you're going to go with it a stretch here. If you can't reach that, you can, you can always split it up. While on others thou art calling, why don't you hear? Why don't you hear? Humble cry. You need that bass on the bottom to really fill out that chord. Wow, we're giving you a lot. Again, we're going to post some of these chords we're doing as part of this video and then we'll be prepared for our next lesson when it comes up. Okay, quick summary. Uh, we did our scales. We did the uh, Do Not Pass Me By, which was our lesson for this evening. We give you some of the more future chords that are coming just to really fill out the song. say we get the piano part down first then when you go to sit on the organ everything will sort of fit a lot more comfortable for you because of the way it's actually laid out okay we've covered enough from this quick summary and we look forward to seeing you on the next lesson this has been a skype summary review by sound of joy music services take care <laughs>